Okay, I would like to darken the background on this picture, but do nothing to the flower. So I'm going to open this up in Photoshop Elements 12. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see, this area right here, that's kind of annoying, so I'm going to quickly get rid of that first by using the clone tool here. And let's see, I think I'll choose a fuzzy one that looks good. Uh, tool's a little large. There, that's better. And yeah, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and left click, pick up that color. And I'm just going to click across this a few times. Doing it slowly. There, and what's there? That looks pretty good. I'm going to get rid of this too. Hold down the Alt key, left click, pick up that color. And I'm just clicking until it's gone. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do now, or the next thing I'm going to do now, is try and just capture the flower. So I'm going to go over to the levels, click on brightness and contrast, and bring up the contrast all the way. Then next I'm going to click on the select tool. I want magic wand. It's on new selection. 169 should be good. Click on that. And it looks like we did capture the outside of the flower. Not on the inside, so I'm going to change select tools. I want 100%. And I'm going to left click and just keep going around until I have captured everything. Just double checking here. Yep, got it. I think I'll save the selection just in case. I'm going to call it 1. Okay, I'm done with the uh, contrast here, so I'm going to click on this level and move it up to the trash can. Gone. Now I want to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to click on the icon on that level and move it up to make new level or create a new layer. That's what it says. So now we have a duplicate layer here. I'm going to turn off the bottom one. Doesn't look like anything happened because both the layers are the same. But we've got our selection here, and now I'm going to hit the delete key. Flower's gone. Going to turn back on the bottom layer. Okay, so the flower's on the bottom layer, and all we have up here is the background. So if I come up here and change normal to multiply, you can see that it got much darker. Also, if you wanted to lighten it, you could use screen. 
that will lighten the background but I want to darken it so I go back to multiply I'm going to change the opacity usually for me about 50% or so is good yeah that looks pretty good I don't think we're going to need the selection anymore so I'm going to turn off the marching ants here that looks pretty good now I'm going to create another level here uh, and it's important to have this one dark because the commands going to take everything that you can see meaning none of these are turned off and make it into a flat layer and put it into a new layer above it and that command is shift control alt e okay now it makes no difference here this is one flat layer now we can leave them on or off it makes no difference up here so now what I want to do is crop this I've got it unrestricted uh, this looks pretty good right here okay now I want to vignette this but I don't want to use a gradient because I always look like a bullseye to me I'm going to add a new layer again now this is the current one we're working on so when I click on this it'll put a new layer above the current one we're working on and I want a blank one so I'm just going to click on it nothing in it I'm going to go over here and fill it with 100 percent black which it's already set up for that okay now remember we're looking from the top down I'm going to change the opacity and what I'm looking at is the corners how dark the corners are okay I think that's as about what I want there and a little bit darker from the corners yeah that looks good right there okay now I'm gonna grab the eraser got a fuzzy eraser 100 percent that's too high let's go with 30 percent and the tools just about right so I'm gonna start in the center here and start erasing And okay, let go and left click. I'm holding this down, so I'm going around. Okay, that way you can bring up some detail in some places and leave others darker if you want. I just clicked again, and I'm going to do it again around the flower. Okay, now I'm going to go up to 100% in the center of the flower, click, and erase. And that will assure that I don't have anything covering up my subject. Okay, now you can see what the vignette looks like. It definitely is not a bullseye so I'm going to do the command shift control alt E again because I'm happy with this right here and do a save
Thanks for watching.